This is a BMW 7 Series and today I'm going to show you how to adjust the suspension. In this case, this BMW 7 Series has air suspension on the rear axle. Some BMWs 7 Series are going to have rear suspension, air suspension and front air suspension. In this case, it is just rear. So today I'm going to show you how to adjust it. First thing we gotta do, we are going to measure the suspension from the rim to the wheel arch over here. So, you can see the suspension is right here. It is around like 62. So this is pretty much what it has. It's like 61 and seven. It's like 60, 617 millimeters. You wanna focus on millimeters only. Don't focus on inches, millimeters, because that is the measurement. 61, 60, 21, 621, 6, 621 millimeters. So it is a little higher than that side. When you are going to do the uh, suspension um, adjustment on a BMW that has air suspension, you have to make sure the, the, uh, the surface is level. If the surface is not level, then the suspension level can give you the ground reading. And also, you have to make sure that there is no excessive amount of load in the vehicle. So if there is more load inside the vehicle, you have to remove that. So that way you can get the best reading possible and get the best adjustment possible. So we are going to use a scan tool for that. And we are going to turn the ignition on and just leave it on. We are not going to start the engine. So we wanna go all the way down to suspension which is going to be let's see hair suspension right here this is the model okay and we are going to do functional tests um, special functions this is where air suspension calibration that is what we're gonna do and then it tells you what is that and it has no, uh, there is no faults and all that. And that's it, we can, so we can do carry out, right adjustment. So we continue and everything. So we have a FO2, very important, the wheel size. In this case, we have 19 inches, but if you have 20s, you have to um, apply that over here. And then this is the readings that this vehicle has. Completely different to what we measure, but this is what it has in the front and in the rear. Okay. This is rear left. So rear left is going to be driver's side. What we have to do, we are going to raise the uh, suspension. So to raise the suspension, what you have to do is enter a little less measurement. So we're gonna apply 638. It's gonna be lower. So let's do that. Okay, let's do okay. Continue. Now we're gonna do the right rear. We're gonna do the same. 638. So, okay, we are changing it, that's what it says. Okay, incorrect balance can do suspension, yes, okay. Okay. Next. Okay, continue. Was successfully, okay. And now the calibration of the rear suspension is done. You can do calibrate the front one, but on the front one, because it has um, regular suspension, you don't need to perform any calibration. You can do it, but it won't matter. So, we have the front, uh, the rear suspension with air. So now you can clearly see it looks different than before. And now we're gonna measure it. So now it's a little higher. So now we are around 63. See, before we were around uh, 617, which is going to be like, what, like 10, something like that, millimeters more. So it's a little higher. And that was 
uh, the request of the owner. He wanted the BMW a little higher because before we left it a little low, but he didn't like that. To me, it was good, but for him, he said then he likes the car a little taller, I mean, a little higher, probably because where he was, suspension is needed. So, the other side, it is around the same amount, see? So, we are equal in the suspension. And that is how do you perform uh, calibration. You have to change the numbers. For example, if you measure this, uh, the rim level and uh, you write the level to the computer, the computer will adjust that in based on how the vehicle is. So if the level then the computer has right now is higher than the level that you are writing on the computer, the computer will lower the suspension. But if the number that you are applying to the computer is lower than the computer, the number on the computer is already uh, encrypted, it will go higher. It's kind of complex on this suspension. You have to invert the uh, readings in order to get the measurement that you want. So uh, that, that is pretty much all on the suspension. And as I said before, if you have front air suspension, you're gonna do the same process to the front. That way you can raise the suspension back to the original level, or uh, you're gonna lower it if you want the suspension to get lower. That, that way you will look uh, different. In fact, the car will look completely different if you lower it. So uh, that is how you're gonna do. And very important, make sure then when you do this process you have a healthy battery battery has to be a hundred percent good if the battery is not good you won't be able to do this process because it requires for the vehicle to have full time with battery on with ignition on and vehicle as you can see is not running and now uh, this is the reason why the battery has to be healthy and as you know bmw's uh, f01s they require a lot of uh, battery power and if the battery is weak, you won't be able to perform this task. Or if you do this task, it's possible, then the uh, writing to the computer won't be completed and something can happen. So you have to redo everything again. And that can cause many problems after. So that is something very important that you have to take care before do this process. And very important, remember, Make sure that the car, the vehicle, the BMW is in a, in a surface that is level and the wheels and the tires are the same size. If the wheels or the tires are completely in different size, you are going to get the ground reading and as consequence, the vehicle will be unbalanced and you know, it's not going to be very good for you. So uh, this is all I have for you at right now. Uh, probably later we're gonna do some more videos about 750s and other stuff than uh, we like to do. We have different content already on our channel. Uh, on our channel, so uh, you can uh, comment there. Uh, you can ask us anything there. But if you're gonna contact me directly, go to Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube. There you can find me and you can ask me anything directly. That way I can get to you the fastest. If you have information about your problem, it's better like pictures, trouble codes, uh, videos, and stuff like that. That will be easier for me so that way I can get directly to your answer. Any questions? As I say, comment, sec comment section below. When I help the channel, use the this, uh, description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's very important for us. Like the video. Thank you for watching.